going to do something really cringe right now, but just bear with me. <laughs> Crocheters, on your mark, get set, go! Hi, hello, welcome to this video. As you can tell by the title, I am going to see how much I can crochet in one hour. Depending on your knowledge of crochet, that might sound like a long time or very little time. But for reference, I'll show you some of the other things I've done and how long those took. This took like three hours and it's really cute, but like it took longer than I expected. Each of these Baymaxes I think took 45 minutes. The whale, I honestly don't know how long I took. I didn't time that. But the bee, I've done it a few times and it's about four hours. This market bag is something that I kind of wanted to sell at the beginning, but after making it once, I realized that it's definitely not reasonable. <laughs> it took six hours to make and you can get a market bag like similar to this off of Amazon for ten dollars or less oh yeah i also have some scrunchies i think this one probably took around half an hour this one maybe two so you might be wondering what i'm gonna crochet in this one hour and i have a few ideas um one if you are following me on instagram at peachy underscore bits um you know that i had a 100 follower giveaway and i chose three winners out of everyone who entered those three winners got or are getting one crocheted item of their choice. And it just so happens that two out of three people chose a pineapple. Um, the finished product looks like this. This was my first pineapple. So I have to make two of these and I've already made the base of one. And this one is actually a little bit smaller than the first one I made because I didn't write down how many rows I did for this one. So I was just kind of winging it and that's how it turned out. I have to make the leaves for this one um, and then I also have been wanting to make a peach because we are peachy bits and it just makes sense to have a peach. I have a pattern pulled up and I have this it's supposed to be peach colored yarn or maybe I'm remembering it wrong maybe it is like a coral color but yeah this was the closest color I could find to a peach and I have my yarn and uh, I'm gonna set a one hour timer on my phone Sadly, I don't have anything to like hold up my phone or my laptop so you can see the time, but um, hopefully I can get it on the screen. I'm going to do something really cringe right now, but just bear with me. <laughs> Crocheters, on your mark, get set, go! Okay, here we go. Oh, I just locked my phone. I did not want to do that. Okay, starting now. So first I'm going to start with the pineapple leaves. Hope this magic ring is big enough. Dang it. <laughs> Off to a bad start. <laughs> One thing I don't like about this chunky yarn is it's hard for me to start with the magic rings um, because once I need to pull it and make it smaller, sometimes it doesn't work out. Hopefully this works though. Because we are on a timer. We are in a hurry. We want to crochet as much as we can in the 60 minutes and okay, it's finally cooperating. <laughs> we got our first row. Oh, there's this like little strand sticking out. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna redo this. <laughs> Usually I don't mess up this many times, but I feel like I have this internal pressure to go fast and it's just not working for me. <laughs> okay, redoing this. This magic ring does not want to close. Starting all over again. Plan B, we're not gonna even try with this and start off fresh. This much yarn wasted. Well, not wasted, I'll probably use it to stuff something else, but we're starting this magic ring again and it, almost 10 minutes have passed by. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fun. Yes!
Finally, okay. Now we can go on to row two. Okay, so um, I just realized that I did not use the same pattern for all of these leaves. Like, the outside one is definitely thicker, so I use a different pattern for that. And I um, paused my timer, we're at 43.58, um, but I kind of want to figure out the pattern that I use for <laughs> the other leaves. Um, so that it'll be all cohesive. I'm gonna switch to making the peach and I have never made the peach So I have no idea how long it's gonna take but we're gonna find out today how much I can do in an hour We'll see if I can get um, the whole thing done The tutorial video is like 20 minutes. So I don't know. We'll see. All right resuming now <laughs> Okay, so we have about 30 minutes left and I have done this much. It's the very bottom of the peach. It's a little boop. And yeah, that, this is where I'm at right now. And uh, let's keep going. found an angle where I can show you the time and also me crocheting so yeah with like 12 minutes left but you know it is what it is percent left so hopefully it'll last um until i'm done i started using this battery at like 80 ish percent and now it's at three percent which it's it's been like maybe an hour maybe less oh i know it has been like less than an hour because i actually used a different battery that was at 40 percent earlier when i did my intro and stuff and then I changed it to the 80% battery when I started crocheting and it's been less than an hour. It's already at 2% which is um, not ideal. <laughs>
Time is up, it's been an hour, and I have crocheted this one leaf for my little pineapple. And I have this much of my peach done. I mean, it, it kind of looked like a giant boob, if I'm being honest. Or like um, one of those period cups. I forgot what they're called. Or there's different brands, but they're like those silicone cups that you use instead of pads or tampons. Kind of looks like that, honestly. <laughs> okay, my camera's on 1% now, so I should probably wrap this up before it dies. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. And uh, yeah, bye. <laughs>